What did you learn about sex at a young age that turned out to be completely wrong? My mom told me penises get bigger. So I told all the other third graders that penises stretch like putty to become longer. That you got pregnant every time you had sex. I remember asking my mom while in Kmart if she only had sex four times because she's been pregnant four times. She sarcastically responded yep. You choose the gender of the baby by who is on top, man on top for a boy. Woman on top for a girl. I'd kiff I learned it. But when I first heard the sexual term eat out I thought it meant literally eating a food out of a girl's vagina not just regular oral sex. I found a dirty joke book in middle school. And one of the jokes went something like why did the man want his day to wear a tampon? So he could floss after eating out. I assumed eating out referred to the dinner he was treating his day to before they had sex. So logically I reasoned that after the meal they'd go back to his place and he'd just go on down there and use the string to floss before they had regular sex. I was a sheltered kid. Sex education at early teens didn't bother to consider that we might not know what sex is. So at the end of sex ed it still hadn't occurred to me that you could insert a penis into a vagina. I thought you just stuck a penis in and that was it. Like didn't move or anything. It wasn't until I discovered porn I understood what you did. Then health class made sense. Yeah I thought the phrase sleeping together was literal. Like, you stick your flaccid penis in and then you say goodnight and go to sleep like that and at some point in the night, somehow, she'll become pregnant. My first experience with porn was confusing, to say the least. I don't remember her exact phrasing. But I somehow completely misunderstood when my mom told me about condoms. What I imagined was like a large, blunt tipped, and sticky thumbtack. That would somehow, plug up the penis so semen slash sperm couldn't get out. Yep. Blowjobs and giving head were two different things. You sucked when giving head. And blew for a BJ. Obviously. I honestly never knew why it was called blowjob. Suck job or slurpee sounds more fitting. That guy's penises just kept growing longer the older they got. And they just rolled them up in their pants like a cinnamon roll. My friend told me the only way to get rid of a boner was to rub it against furniture. I was 10 at the time. Then one day the couch shattered. Nah, that's how love seats are made. I was under the impression that the penis went into the vagina and vibrated. No pumping required. If only. You think if my penis vibrated I'd be sitting here on Reddit on a Saturday night. He earned from a paperback novel. He rammed it into her virgin hole and pounded it raw as she squealed with pleasure. Which chapter of Harry Potter was this again? I must have missed it. It's right at the opening of Chamber of Secrets. Next time my wife gets naked I'm going to tell her I want to enter her Chamber of Secrets. Get your couch ready. I'm gonna need a place to crash. Slither into her Chamber of Secrets. I was like 9 years old and my dad, presumably, had left a porn in the VCR. I went to go play something and it instantly came on. It was some weird scene in a kitchen. Food all over the place. About 10 seconds in, this dude jizzes a pool of cum onto the girl's face and I thought it looked like egg whites. I hated eggs. I gagged hard, turned it off immediately, and ran shuddering. I had heard about women having eggs. But saw the egg white come out of the dude. So my brain put it together that the guy had egg whites and the girl had the yolks. I was terrified that I was going to shoot egg whites out of my dick one day. I genuinely thought that for a couple years. I couldn't even look at eggs. I thought about it every time I saw eggs and my mom and dad always had egg sandwiches together on Sunday mornings. Fuck egg sandwiches. Watching late night Cinemax when I was a kid. Women would only moan when their nipples were exposed. I assumed. As a pre-adolescent boy. That whenever a woman became topless. She would moan. Late night Cinemax softcore porn in the 90s didn't show what what going on downstairs. Only nipples and moaning. I thought that women had to orgasm to get pregnant. In hindsight, I was happier not knowing the truth, like when I thought ponies were baby horses. Ignorance is bliss sometimes. I thought that condoms were the black sensor bars from TV and constantly racked my brain on the sexual logistics. 
Oh man, in third grade all my friend said was a condom made sure the girl didn't get pregnant or AIDS. In my mind a condom was like a police officer that watched and made sure you didn't go for too long. Hey man, I need you to be my condom real quick. When you insert your penis, a constant stream of sperm will start coming out your dick and stop as soon you take it out. Yeah they never explained how ejaculation works. I don't know how I thought the dick somehow knew what was going on. Like a gas pump? Yup, it stops once the amount that you paid for is over. I started masturbating at a very young age, but I had no idea what I was doing at all and I 100% believed I was the only person in the entire world who was doing it. Literally same. Oddly enough, the day after I started was the day everyone else suddenly started talking about it. I thought rape meant to take someone's clothes with force. I came home one day and told my mom that I saw someone wearing a t-shirt that I liked. I wanted to rape that guy. Her reaction told me I needed to go check a dictionary. I've said this before, but it bears repeating. In sex ed I learned the mechanics of sex but not that there was any movement. So for a while, when I was a kid, I thought you just inserted dab A into slot B and waited. I was in the 4th grade and my buddy and I were discussing porn, I know. He mentioned something like my favorite part is when you peel the skin back. I responded with a blank stare. It wasn't until years later I realized he must have been uncircumcised. I spent years thinking penises were supposed to shed skin like a snake. My friend didn't realize that other people were circumcised and thought the talk was when moms told their sons how to clean foreskin and not about sex. I'd where I got the idea but I thought that a man's nipples touching a girl's nipples was sex. I thought my dick would rest on the opening of the vagina, and something magical would make sex happen. I kept using various things I could arrange to look like a vagina to simulate sex but nothing ever happened and I couldn't figure out why. Man I was a stupid kid. Edit. Highest rated comment about my juvenile masturbation trials. LOL. First guy I dated told me that leaving a guy with blue balls would cause permanent damage, giving me no choice but to help him finish. Imagine my surprise when another man came along and actually accepted my no. I thought oral sex was phone sex because you were speaking. What's digital sex to you? I didn't think that a penis could physically fit in a vagina. They looked so big when I saw the diagram of an erect one in sex ed. I figured I'd never have sex and only make out a lot. After sex ed in elementary school, I was confused about wet dreams so I asked my friend. She told me that when boys sleep, their penises shed skin like a snake. I believed this until I was well into my teenage years.